Golden State completely turned Game 6 around, coming back from 17 down and securing a Game 7 final battle. Although many of the Warriors turned it up a notch in the second half, it was Klay Thompson who went God mode, finishing the game with 9 of 14 from downtown. What up everybody, my name is Stefan and this is Heat Check. And before analyzing his offensive explosion, I want to point out just how valuable he is to the team. Thompson dropped 35 points all while being the primary defender on James Harden and actually slowing him down big time. Clay chased Harden on 34 possessions and allowed only 8 points, which if you compare to Curry or Durant, you'll see just how good he played defensively. Now that you're aware and appreciate the effort that it takes to slow down one of the best offensive players in the world and still knock down your own shots, let's dive deeper and dissect the offense. A lot of people have been complaining about the high volume of isolations for KD in the series, how that isn't Warriors basketball and how it could cause them. Well, the good thing is that when you see the box score and you see Klay Thompson as the leading scorer, better believe that they played Warriors basketball. Even without watching the game, know that there was a lot of ball movement, player movement, setting screens and unselfishness. Remember those keywords. This guy doesn't do isos and doesn't often shoot off the dribble. He is always active and here the defense is asking is he curling to the 3 point line, is he going inside, do we switch, do we stay home and that's a lot of thinking as Klay gets an uncontested layup just by his movement. Then we got unselfish basketball as the defense is afraid of his lethal shooting and overplays him so he finds the open guy two times for two easy baskets. Right here, look at how he fakes the defense by signaling to KD that he is setting a pick, but instead Clay just slips the screen, runs to his spot and gets a wide open look. As we're looking at Thompson's shots, a lot of these looks can also be attributed to Houston's miscommunication. And people who don't follow the series closely will probably say that they just play bad defense, which isn't true. They have been pretty good at containing one of the best offensive teams in NBA history as I call Golden State. But having said that, you always have to be sharp on defense against the Warriors. No plays off, no miscommunications, otherwise a guy like Klay Thompson among other weapons will definitely make you pay for your mistakes by going god mode just like he did here in game 6. The epic conclusion game 7 is at Houston and let me know what you think, can Klay replicate his shooting on the road or can the Rockets finally dethrone this super team. That's it for now. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more in-depth analysis. Talk to you in the next one. Peace out.